Hi, I'm Laura Allen with Grey Water Action, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do maintenance on a kitchen sink grey water system. This grey water system is a gravity flow branch drain system, and the maintenance of it is really identical to a shower or other type of sink branch drain system. The only difference is I need to do this maintenance about twice as frequent, so I'm going to do this about twice, twice a year. And the reason is, in the kitchen sink water, there's a lot of food particles and grease and organic material going through the system, and all of that lands in the wood chips, is filtered out, and then it decomposes. And that process happens a lot faster. So I'm going to look for two things. I am looking for the gray water outlet, which is coming out a piece of pipe like this. It's coming into my mulch shield somewhere along the line. There should be a big air space between where the gray water comes out and where it lands into the wood chips. That prevents roots from growing back up into the gray water system. I'm also looking for actual wood chips on the bottom because that is the filter. It catches the lint or it catches the food particles and the grease and that will eventually decompose and then after it's decomposed it doesn't infiltrate water as quickly. So we need to replace it. So I'm going to check my first outlet. Looking inside and I see the gray water outlet. It's unobstructed but it looks pretty close to the level down there. There's only about an inch of space before it's hitting the soil and I'm seeing soil. So there's two things I need to do. I need to remove that soil, which is actually composted wood chips plus the composted food that went through the system. I need to remove a couple inches of that and then replace it with fresh wood chips. Um, and it's moist under there. It looks like there's a good amount of water going through, not too much, not too little. Just gonna, and this is great compost. So I'm just gonna remove some of the wood chips and put this at the base of the tree. It will really benefit from keeping this in the area, all those nutrients. So I'm digging it out. And then it's all dug out and then I'm filling it with the wood chips. Measuring my tape measure. Should I have a good drop? So I have about four inch drop. And then I put the lid on. And I'm done. So I'm going to check on this outlet. Hmm. And this outlet is really gunked up. So this is what happens with kitchen water when there's either too much water flowing through it or it doesn't get maintained for a while. It gets this creates this kind of goopy, anaerobic um, gunk. Now, it's not, not pretty, but it doesn't really hurt anything. So I need to clean all that out and put in fresh wood chips. So now we're getting to the earthworm layer. There's often dozens to hundreds of earthworms under the outlets. So now that I've removed the gunk that I found in there and dug all down underneath the outlet, there's enough room for me to add my wood chip filter. And I'm gonna get all that filled in. And I still have a nice big air gap. Let me make sure I want at least four inches. Yep, perfect. So I have my air gap of at least four inches. I have a little more. I have my wood chip filter. And so now when the gray water flows in, it can flow out and soak into this bigger mulch basin and the organic matter will be filtered out by the gray water and it will decompose. And those earthworms will come back and eat the food. So this one's done. So I'm gonna go and do the same thing to all of the outlets on this system. And then the last thing I need to do is check, check and make sure that water's flowing evenly through my system. I'm gonna put a garden hose in the clean out and just run garden hose water through it. Alternatively, I could turn on the kitchen sink and, and let water flow through that way too. Um, if I find that flows are uneven, then I will need to make adjustments to the system and that takes a lot of work. If you wanna see that being done, see the shower branch drain maintenance video and you can see that happening. With this system, I'm just gonna put the garden hose run water through it. Um, that also removes debris and helps clear the line if there's any emerging clogs happening. So I'm gonna go get my garden hose. 